let's create a custom portal. Let's see how to do that. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be making a custom portal for our custom dimension. Now for that, we're actually going to use an API and that is the custom portal API right here for the crypto knot. This is actually an amazing tool. And just to illustrate the fact, well, I mean, isn't the custom portal really easy? Well, take a look at this. So this is, you know, the structure here for the custom portals. We can go into the, you know, util, we can go into the portal one, we can go into the mixins. So there's a couple of mixins in here. There's some interfaces in here. There's even some client stuff and even some networking stuff. So once again, uh, portals are actually very hard. And using this API is going to make this incredibly simple for us. It's actually insane. And it's also very easy to do. So we basically just need these two things here. And here's an explanation of how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our build.gradle file right here. And then at the very top, so in our dependencies, what we want to add is we want to add this right here, right? So this one, we're just going to copy this over. So control C and then control V, paste that in. And here we have to put in the version. So we have to put in this basically. It's going to copy this over from the other screen. So I don't have to switch this around constantly. So this is going to be 00.1 dash beta like this. 46, 17. So this is exactly what is written here. If you were, for example, on 118, you would put in this or, you know, 116, you'll put in a this. And then this maven here, we copy this as well. And this has to be put under repositories at the top here. Very important. So we just put this in here and that's pretty much all that we need to do. Now, after this is done, we click the little elephant here. If that doesn't appear for you, you can always go into the Gradle and click this button right here. Reload all Gradle changes. In the build window, you're now going to see that this is now starting to basically rebuild. Right, and here we are. After 26 seconds, it might take a little longer for you. It should be fine, and you should now have this, well, in the actual, in your actual project. And under dimensions, we should now be able to add the mod portals class. So this is once again a, let's say, a creation of my own. That's totally fine. And we're going to have a public, a public static void register portals method right here. And then inside of here, we're going to start to build this. So this is going to be the custom portal builder. And you can see, you can see that the API is now available here. So that's pretty good. Begin portal. And then we can say frame block, which is the block that the frame has. We're just going to say mod blocks that Ruby block. And then we're going to have a light with items. So this is the item that we need to right click this with. We're just going to take the, let's take the pepper. Sure, that's fine. Then the dest dim ID is the mod dimensions dot kg dim dot get value tint color. Here we can just put in any color. Let's just put in anything really a hundred and let's say 200 and then B let's say, let's say 50, 60. Sure. And then register portal ended with, and that's it. That is literally the portal done. And we now just need to call this in our on initialize method here. So mod portal dot register portals done. That's it. That's all we need to do. This is why this using this API is incredibly useful and incredibly just amazing. So I guess let's just see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and let's just build the portal. So it can actually be of any size, by the way. It just has to be at least the size of the nether portal, basically. So let's just build it up like this and let's see if we can light it with the pepper. And indeed we can. There we go. So now the portal is done and it is as easy as simply stepping through the portal. And now, as you can see, we are in our KGD, KG dim. So in the custom dimension and a portal has also generated right here. So this is pretty much how easy it is. And yeah, I mean, there's pretty much nothing else to say. Right, like I said, that's how easy it can be. And this would already be for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.